we begin with this slide quiz zero um, it's not going to be graded it's not going to be graded so you can do it on your piece of paper that you have and um, just figure it out and then we'll go over the answer in a minute all right I'm going to go over the answers now all right the mean of uniform 0, 1, if something is uniformly distributed between 0 and 1, what would be the mean? Anybody? 0.5? Right, half. And this says 1, so that is false. The sum of two normal variables with mean 4 and 3, so 1 has 4, 1 has 3. You add them up, the mean would be what? 7. The question was the same or question was different? Let me see the handout. And so that is true if that is the question. Sometimes the question only, okay. Yeah, so sum has seven, right? So that's correct. Everybody agrees? Third one is the, the probability of fair coin coming up head once and tail once in two throws. So if you have two, if, if you have a coin and you flip it, there are two possibilities, zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. Right, so what is the possibility of zero, one, and one, zero? and a half, right? And so that is clearly false. It's two throws is one. I mean, obviously, probability one would be really wrong. So, so far, okay? Any questions about these three? Fourth, the density function approaches one as x approaches infinity. Density function. Now there is a density and distribution. I want to make sure that you distinguish between density and distribution. So density doesn't approach infinity. What does it approach one? I mean, so what does it approach one? The distribution function. The cumulative probability goes to one when something goes to infinity. The the the, the, dif the differential of that is density function that, that doesn't approach one. So that is false. Given two variables, the variable with higher median also has a higher mean. So you know what is a median. Right, 50 percentile, yeah, go ahead, yeah. Okay, so density function is the one which generally goes to zero at the either end. I mean, it might be highest than in the middle, but it just starts from, see, it could be actually, it, okay, so the thing is, let me see. The area under the density function has to be one. Right, so it cannot go to infinity. If it goes to infinity, the area cannot be one. Um, all right, probability of fair, so the next one is given to where med median and the mean. So median and means are different, right? Median is 50 percentile and mean is the average. And they could be, one could be higher than the other. You know, median could be higher, the mean could be higher. It doesn't matter. They're not related in that sense, right? So it says the, with higher mean also has a higher mean, median, so that is false. The probability of fair coin coming up heads twice in a row. So that is like just one one out of four possibilities. One fourth. And then the difference of the two normal variates, difference now. If mean is four and mean is three, the difference would have mean of what? Anybody knows? If you subtract something which has a mean four and subtract with something which yeah. One. One. Four minus three is one. Anybody else agrees with that? Or that's a tough one, huh? Agree, okay, good, all right. Four third, now, okay. The cumulative distribution, so four third is wrong. The cumulative distribution function fx, now this is the thing, the cumulative distribution function approaches one as x approaches infinity. This is true for all distribution. Basically, it has, that is the area under the curve for the other one, right? So as you go to infinity, the whole area has, basically the fx approaches one. High coefficient of variation, now this one might be a little bit, you know, tricky, and so if you don't, if you did get wrong, this is fine. Uh, high coefficient, coefficient of variation implies a low variance and vice versa. High coefficient of variation basically means high variance. If something has a very high variance, that doesn't imply, so that implies a low variance is wrong, so it's just the opposite. Variation and variance, basically they are high coefficient of variation. So what is coefficient of variation anyway? Anybody knows what is coefficient of variation? Yeah. 
standard deviation divided by the mean, and the standard deviation is the square root of variance. So if the coefficient of variation went up, the standard deviation will go up, and the variance will go up. So they are all in the same direction. All right, the last one is a programming question. If x is 0, then x plus plus will make it 1. All right. So what you do now is you only know what it means, how many you got right and how many you got wrong. Just put that one marks correct answers, how many correct answers you got, how many incorrect answers you got, subtract those. So let's say you got 7 right and 2 wrong. No, 3 wrong, there are total 10. 7 minus 3, your score will be 4. Right? So just find out how much is your score. And this quiz actually I should have done last class. That way you would have known in the last class, I mean you can do it even now, is that how much you know the prerequisites. Because this is kind of a minimum thing that you know we want. And if you have any difficulty here, then you know you will have difficulty in the rest of the class and so you know just think about that, you know. All right? And you don't have to let me know the answer. You 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 know basically it's a it's your decision whether you want to stay in the